right, Monty and Dakota on the 13th of July 2018, Friday the 13th, a little bit of uh, flight of your life action here. Gateway ground up, set Niner taxi information, Charlie, East departure. Upset Niner, gateway ground, run I one turret a kilo, takes via left turn, Whiskey Hotel Bravo. Whiskey Hotel Bravo, one two right a kilo, upset Niner. Big gateway tower, upset Niner's ready, one two right a kilo. Up to Niner, Gateway Tower, traffic. Monad final Cessna, runway one turret a kilo, clear for takeoff, fly straight up. Fly straight out, clipper take off, once you ride a kilo, traffic in sight, upset Niner. Alright, clear left, clear right. 2540, runway 12 center, line of weight. We'll call that a 40 right at the 2540, runway 12 center, line of weight. All 12 to the Alright, there's no call sign there, so Sioux 540, runway 12 center, line of weight. One two center, line up and wait, two five forty. Two six thirty five, number two, follow traffic short final, runway one two left, clear dutch and go. Number two, five, All right, Dakota, you have control. Uh, I control. Just accelerate to about hundred and fifteen. Hope we'll climb out at hundred and fifteen. Turn right kilo, hold short, runway one two right. Right a kilo, hold short, one two right, one five two right. Cessna one three alpha, extend down in tower call base, just to verify extend down. We'll extend down in one three alpha. Thank you, Seminole 5, correction, Seminole 3 off Tango, once in the down, extend tower, call base. Extend and tower will call base, Seminole 3 off Tango. To stalls as well. So let me show you the uh, slipping turn stall, you know, the classic uh, overshooting final uh, guy decides to hit bottom rudder to help himself turn. You know, aerodynamically it's not helping them, but the stall speed goes up uh, and uh, and then you guys get themselves in real trouble with this. So let's just say I'm on downwind at Gateway. I'm coming off the perch. I'm just coming here in the left-hand uh, descending uh, final turn, and I start overshooting the runway, and so I feed in bottom rudder. So there goes the bottom rudder. The ball goes to the high wing. I pull back and away to try to counter that. We get the buffet, and there it goes. Then push, roll, power, stabilize. So, I'm going to set up for a sustained stall exercise. Now, what I'm going to have you do, Dakota, is I'm going to have you on the rudder pedals. Okay. All right? And when the airplane stalls, I want you to try to keep the wings level just with the rudders. Okay. Rudder pedals. You won't be able to. If you go for like 10 seconds, you're the world champion, okay? Okay. When it rolls off in one direction or the other, I'll say I have control. You just let go at that point. And okay. what I want you to notice is how nose low we are. What our airspeed is, 60, 60 knots is about the 1G stall speed in this airplane. We'll okay. probably be at 120, all okay. right? And the nose will be bobbing. We're going to have buffet, lack of pitch authority, lack of roll control, inability to rest of center rate. All those characteristics of a stall. Uh, and then I'm going to push roll power stabilize. You're going to see it immediately recovers. So I'm going to have you come on the rudder pedals. When I say, uh, when I, say uh, I have control, just let go, okay? Okay. So here we go. I'm just going to do a, a nice uh, power off stall. I'm going to suck the stick all the way back in my lap and hold it. And you're going to try to keep the wings level. All right. Here you go. Go for it. Oops, there we go. All right. I have control. I control. Now, look how nose low we are. Yeah. But we are fully stalled. And look at our airspeed. There's 110, 120. Yeah. Now, watch this. Push. Roll. Power. Stabilize. Engine power set. Airspeed stable, positive rate, recovery complete. That was the Air France 447 accident. You know, those guys had full aft stick, but yet they never recognized they were in a stall. Even though for 54 seconds that Airbus was going brrr, stall, brrr, stall, they never diagnosed they were in a stall because, frankly, the stall training you get. Is, is just so benign. I, okay, gear down, flaps down, okay, 1G stall, recover. You know, and you never, have you ever seen a stall that looks like that? No. No. But we were fully stalled, and if I kept the stick back, we would have hit the ground uh, in a full stall. But as soon as I pushed, did you notice everything went away? Yeah, exactly. All right, now I'm going to show you an incipient spin. I'll let you try to recover from one, too, all right? So, we teach... 
use the strategy all the way up to the point where it becomes a fully developed spin. So your go-to is the incipient, is the, is the strategy, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a slip, I'm gonna let it go around about one turn, and then I'm gonna go push roll power stabilize. And you're gonna see the airplane recovers uh, almost immediately, all right? So here we go. This is gonna be an incipient spin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do it out of a slip, all right? So here's a slipping turn. Balls to the low wing, there it goes. I'm gonna let it go all the way around. Now push, roll, oh, power, stabilize. Notice how it stopped? All I had to do was push, light in the seat, and go opposite rudder, yeah. and the thing worked up. All right? And that was just, that, because an incipient spin is really not a fully developed, it's a, it's a it's aggravated stall, yeah. all right? And so we could use a stall recovery to, to get out of it. You wanna try one? Yeah, all right. Let me get you up here. And then we'll, we'll do this, we'll, uh, we'll go into the uh, aerobatics. Doing good so far? Yes. All right, awesome. Now, most important question, are you having fun? Yes, definitely. All right. All right. So, you have control. I control. What I want you to do is go right wing low, Okay. left rudder. Left rudder, whoops, not quite that much, not full left rudder. Okay, it's right there. Right there. Yeah, yeah. right there. We'll go into a, a slip, all right? So let's okay. see the ball's to the low wing. It's yeah. gonna roll to the right, away from the ball. All right, so here it goes. Just a second. On stall, baby, there it goes. Now, no yet, well, oh, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's all right. Go ahead of myself. Yeah, you gotta let me uh, give you a chance. All okay. Right? Let's do that one more time. Okay. I have control. Your controls. Now let it go around about a turn before okay. we push. All right. And it's just really relaxing. It's just, it's not, you know, you're just getting light in the seat. You don't want to push. If your butt's coming off the seat, yeah. you're pushing too hard. Okay. That was about negative, negative one G there. All right, let's try this again. All right. So, Money is up going to center east. Yeah, Money's deep south. All right, so right wing low, left rudder. You have control. My controls. Right wing low, left rudder. I'll tell you when to recover. When I say recover, go ahead and do it. Yeah. All right, here we go. All right, recover. Push. Push. Opposite rudder, whoop, a little bit spiked, but not bad. But you saw it came right out, didn't yeah. it? Yeah. All right, cool. All right, I have control. Uh, your controls. All right, let's do some aerobatics. All right, so we're gonna start with an aileron roll. Okay. Something, something up simple. I'll, it'll be C1, do one. So, first thing I'm gonna do is get about 120 knots. Okay. I'm gonna raise the nose up about 20 to 25 degrees nose high. You can follow along with me. Okay. I'm just gonna push lightly and roll all the way over. Notice how the nose is lower as we finish because our lift vector is pulling us down. Okay. All right, your turn. Bring the nose on up about 25 degrees nose okay. high. And then just push the stick one way or the other. Okay. Yeah. Either way. There you go. Roll it right on around. Nice. That was a very nice aileron roll. A lot of guys will pump the stick when they do that, so that was good. That was about a, way above average. All right, give me a turn to the right. We'll avoid the uh, avoid, uh, restricted. Yep. Oh. That pull going. All right. Now just float it. Float it, float it. All right, now start bringing that back pressure in without stalling it. All right, cool. You have control. My control. Same thing now. 160, right. up, up. Okay. There you go. Look it side to side. All right, head back. Pick up your road. There it is. All right, get that nose 45, nose low. Push and roll. All right, do another leap. That nose down. 160, up. All right, head back. Pull right down that road. Push and roll. There you go. All right, good. I have control. Your controls. That's the Cuban 8. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, you have control. My control. Pull the nose up just a little bit. Okay. All right, roll inverted. And as you roll, start pushing. There you go. That's negative 1G. That's pretty level right there. Yeah. All right, cool. Nice. All right, I have control. Your controls. Here we 
go. You have control? I control. Straight up. All right, I've got that wind tip perpendicular to the horizon. There you go. All right, kick left, stick right, slightly forward, opposite rudder. rudder. That was a nice one right there. Those are cool, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, there you go. All right, I have control. Your controls. Now, I'll show you. All right, you have control. My controls. All right, let's go straight up. Folks on. Got to bring that power back. And power's coming back. And just hold it right there. Try to hold it. You can go a little bit further over and it'll go backwards. Uh, today. All right. Bam. All right. Cool. That's stroke. That's a uh, uh, tail slide. All right. Now we'll try the torque roll. Okay. I have control. You controls. This one. Uh, you have control. My controls. Get about 140 or 50 knots. Okay. Straight up. Oaks on. All right, start rolling. All right, cool. Not bad. Not bad. All right, I have control. Your controls. And you have control. My controls. And when it stalls, just kick full left rudder, go full left stick and hold it. Okay. I'll tell you to recover. I'll kind of walk you through the pair, all right? A full left stick, or full uh, F stick, full left rudder. Okay, there's one turn. You can see it mostly roll at first. Yeah. All right? And now, there's a fully developed spin. So power idle, ailerons neutral, rudder, elevator, rudder, neutral, and elevator. And recover from the diet. All right, and that's how to. That's a pair. Of put us into those. We'll just do one of these. Okay, uh, I'll kind of demo it to you. We rarely do these with our clients. Uh, most clients don't like them. Uh, and the truth is, very few yeah, airplanes. Did a loop. Every few, very few airplanes can even do a uh, inverted spin uh, because uh, you can't get enough negative angle of attack to stall it, and you have to stall negative yeah. uh, to even do the thing. So, all right. So this will be a. Inverted spin to the right. It'll be something that probably about 5% of the pilots have even done this thing, okay? So here we go. So as it starts to stall, I'm going to... Why is it going now? I'm gonna kick. Now I'm going to go forward on the stick, opposite rudder. There it is, inverted. So power, idle, aileron, neutral, rudder, elevator. Rudder, elevator. That's an inverted spin. Nice, huh? Yeah. A little bit different, a little bit different. All right. Dakota, I'm going to get about 150, 60 knots or so. I'm going to pull 45 up. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to kick left and stay forward and left on the stick. So here we go. 140. All right, there's 150. So up 45. All right, there. Kick left. Traffic. So that was a lump What do you think of that? <laughs> wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, pretty crazy. <laughs> Very few airplanes in the world will even do that. Yeah. We get about 160 here. Ish. Let's see if I can do this. Alright, so 160, we're going to go straight up, and as I get straight up, I'm going to go full aileron, full rudder, and it just kind of screws up here, and then when it stops, I'm going to try to stop it, oh, I couldn't do it. I'd want to do a uh, torque roll going down, but I missed it. Gotcha. Alright, that was crap. <laughs> alright, let's do a, uh, uh, let's do a uh, knife edge spin up, alright? So we'll go straight up, so straight up, all right, kick left, stick forward and left, and I'm just trying to keep the, 
keep the wings open. It doesn't last very long because it doesn't like flying like that, of course. Traffic. All right. Let's get out of here. Two five. Traffic. Two five thirty one. Toronto Hotel. Got to grab it off. Toronto Hotel. Can I go out of the We'll land just a little bit long, just to shorten our taxi time. That's good. 2570, make the left turn and descend for the Dowin helicopter. Enter Charlie Pattern to your left. Left turn, drop down, this is TPA, 2570. Mr. 4 Alpha Victor, says it just came across on the left cross and you'll follow them. Insight 4 Alpha Victor. I take 3624, number 2, follow says a short final runway, 1 2 right, clear to land. Okay, number 2, 1 2 right, clear to land, high tech 3624. Tower 2608, go around. 2608, fly runway heading. Fly runway heading, 2608. 2570, Ray, 1 2 left cleared, stop and go. 1 2 left cleared, stop and go, and then we can pull stop after that for planning. 2570. 2 right Traffic ASU says the three miles south entering right 